What if you could steer the development of a powerful photo application? What if you could have the features you always wanted added if you just said so? You may be thinking there's no way, but there is. It's called a shampoo photos. We invite you to actively participate in the development of our latest photos application so we can build your program exactly the way you want it to be. That's why we purposely added only the most basic features by default, like opening and adding photos to albums. Which features will be implemented next is entirely up to you. Keep watching to find out how you can make your voice heard. Before we check out the feedback portal, let's take a brief look at what a shampoo Photos can do today. If you've already installed a shampoo Photos, you can either select a local folder or Microsoft OneDrive as source for your photos. Once I click open, the program will import the photos contained. To create a new album, I hit Albums followed by the plus button to give it a name. I'm using Vacation 2022. I then click Photos and select the photo I want in my new album, followed by a click on the Album button to bring up my existing albums. Clicking an album will add the selected photo to it. I can use the left and right arrows to navigate between my photos and create more albums if need be. To add multiple photos to an album, hit select to select them consecutively and then use the album button now at the bottom to add them to an existing album. There are many more buttons for additional features, like the I button that displays the metadata of the selected photo. That's it for a brief primer on a shampoo Photos. Next, let's look at the Feedback Portal. You can access the portal from the Start page by clicking Feedback followed by the link. The portal will open in your web browser. This is the place to give us your thoughts and ideas so we can implement them in a shampoo Photos. Another way to access the portal is by clicking icons for features that have not yet been implemented. In these cases, you will be notified accordingly along with the link that will take you to the portal. And this is what the feedback portal looks like. I recommend you create an account to stay up to date and to receive email notifications on all activity related to your posts. Registration is completely free and only requires a valid email address. You will then receive a code that you can use to log into the portal. You can also skip this step and post anonymously. The portal currently has three categories. Feedback, Changelog and Roadmap. Feedback is where you create new posts. Changelog lists the most recent program modifications and Roadmap shows features that are planned, are currently being worked on or have been completed. Let's create a feature request. I'll suggest that the team add color auto optimization for photos. First, I select Feedback and use the search to make sure no one else has already suggested this feature. I then click Create a post to suggest it myself. Every post needs a descriptive title to begin with. This helps our team to quickly identify and manage your requests. Also make sure to include a brief description, especially for non-self-explanatory requests. Once you hit Submit, your post will be added to the portal. You can always return to the portal later to check its status. With many features, chances are somebody else has already submitted a request. 
you can upvote existing requests by clicking the arrow icon above its counter. That's all you need to know. Development of A-Shampoo Photos is in full swing and we're counting on you to steer development in the right direction, that is, towards your dream photo application. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll keep adding new videos to make this the go-to place for all things A-Shampoo on YouTube. Thanks for watching and see you next time.